What's up YouTube? Today we're putting away a clutch and celebrating some great news. So cue the intro, dive on in. So any of you that follow us on Instagram already know that we hit 10,000 followers, man. 10,000 followers. So we happen to hit it right around the same time as MJ Exotics Cartel and JH Pythons. So big congratulations to both of you guys, man. I'm so happy to achieve these milestones together, side by side. Now let's prep for the babies before we take them out of the incubator. So what I do is I use uh, one of these clear V18s and I put in some paper towels. So I put in just enough paper towels to cover the bottom. And I miss them generously. Okay, so it's gonna end up looking like that. Nice, moist, it's not like dripping and running out, but it's pretty damp. I mean, it's all the way soaked through. And I will put it back in the rack so it starts warming up while we wash all these baby snakes, ID them, and then we'll put them away. Okay, so I already showed you uh, the prep I do to the tub, and I'm gonna fill up this tub with some 88 degree water, just so they don't get in shock. And I can do this on the table so you guys can follow along. Okay, so now I'm gonna take them out of the incubator. Everyone's all out of their eggs. I came out here and checked them before work. Here Papa. is a pile of babies. This pile we'll put over there. Not a pile of babies. And here's that pre-made tub that we made in the beginning. So what we'll do is we just start a little assembly line. Yes, honey. They, they come out. So this is a black pastel banana. <laughs> Looks to be male. We're looking for the, the female bananas here. And here is a banana pinstripe. This is the big one. Then we have the little tiny one. Big one. Male. That is male. Whoa, that many colors. Okay, and here is a spinner. Spinner. This should be a female. Papa. Yep, female. Can yes, honey. Yep. <laughs> He's nice. A mom, mama one, and a daddy one. And this has to be a Mojave. Mojave. This has to be a Mojave banana. Don't get out that bag. I think Mrs. Small Town was right on that one. Doesn't look to have black pastel yet, but you know, it's kind of hard to tell sometimes with these bananas until they color up. Mmm. Yeah, that might be a female. That is a dad. Abby, if you see them crawling out, can you just tap them a little bit on the head? Mm -hmm. Okay, and here's our little tiny 40 gram from our little chicken egg. I did him. Weighs 40 grams. Tap them. Tap them. Not hit them. Huh? Dad, or pop. And that might be a female. So if that's a female, that's so a keeper. It's a double keeper. Smallest one we ever hatched. And, uh,. And a female. Okay. And this, I think, is probably the banger of the clutch. Doesn't have all the genes, but I am saying this is Pinstripe Mojave Black Pastel. So it's a Black Pastel Jigsaw. Fully, full dorsal stripe. No breaks in it. 
Uh, you know, everyone knows what a jigsaw pretty much looks like, and then black pastel really jumbles up that pattern. Adds this nice dark line, nice dark head. This one should be a female. And yep. This is a female. It's okay. They're not going to go far. So that is how I wash and put them away. Let's double check my little baby here. Baby here. Yeah, this one looks to be female. So if this is a female, we will hold this back. Other than that, everything else will probably be available. We were only aiming for female bananas, since our male does throw females every now and then. So if you want to go over them again, uh, we got two banana pinstripes. We got a black pastel Mojave pinstripe. We got a black pastel banana. We got a spinner. And a banana Mojave. Not a bad little clutch. Let's see this. Doesn't seem to have any wobble or anything yet. So we only hit one spider out of uh, so, Papa? six eggs. So all of these are now washed. Pretty much ID'd. I don't know if this one has black pastel, this spinner. I've never seen a spinner black pastel. I'll try looking them up. But everything else, I'm solid on the IDs. Unless you guys see something different, put it down in the comments. But then what I do from there is I just put them in here and I wait for their first shed. So that is the first clutch of 2021. Put up, ID'd, sexed for the most part. And then after that, we just uh, clean out all these tubs. So let's jump into some mail. And you'll notice that I changed shirts during the break, and we'll get right to that. So today we got mail from two of the other 15 Minutes of Lame alumni. And uh, it's crazy because they both have Hallmark stationery. <laughs> so, so it's really cool. So uh, first up. We got Jamie and Chris from RC Reptiles. And they sent a bunch of different sticker sizes. And uh, Jamie and her girls, they do an Instagram live. So you need to get over there and follow them and uh, jump on when they do their lives. Here is their information. Pause it if you need it. They sent a thank you card with a personalized message. Uh, thank you so much for this, Jamie, sincerely. Lames for life, girl. Next up, we got uh, Mr. John Feely. He sent a magnet, too. So uh, John sent some stickers. Make sure I get Texas the right direction. And a cool little magnet. We love magnets over here. Here is John's contact info. Pause it if you need it. Feely's Clutch. That means a lot too, John. Hey, thank big shout out and thank you to both of my 15 Minutes of Lames alumni. Really love the personalized touch. I love you both. Can't wait to see both of you at the shows and the rest of the 15 Minutes of Lame alumni. Much love to all of you. So back to why I changed my shirt. So. Everyone knows I've been pretty vocal that like Reptiles Unplugged show is pretty special to me. I change around plans and everything to not miss those lives. And I took a break from filming this episode because they were coming on. We put away the clutch, went in there to watch Reptiles Unplugged as a family and eat dinner like we normally do. And they just announced they're taking a break. No! Why? I love you, Joel and Adam, man. Loved everything you did with the show. I was the first person in the entire world to have one of these shirts. So I will wear this thing with pride. Always and forever, man. Hopefully you guys start doing something else again. Uh, something cool. I'm always there to support both of you. 
Big shout out to both you guys, man. Hey, it all started with a Sean Bradley interview, and I've been following all you guys since. With John Feely on his own channel and stuff now, man. So, uh, big shout out to all you guys. And that's going to wrap it up for this episode. So, until next time, guys, rock on. <laughs>